it's a way of life From them Louisiana swamps to them skyscraping pines Talking about bass, bucks, ducks, squirrels, turkeys and hogs Gulf Coast fishing and gigging bullfrogs It's the Bayou Power Sports Southern Outdoors Show on Z107.5 with your hosts, Brandy Watson and Todd Causey. Doesn't talk too much. Welcome to Bayou Power Sports Southern Outdoors on Z107.5. I'm your host, Brandy Watson, along with your other host, Todd Causey. How y'all doing out there? And we have an action-packed show for y'all tonight. We have, we're talking, we're talking about the Bass Pro Shop Crappie Masters Tournament. And we also have Crappie Country in the studio with us. We want to welcome them back. We have Dan Dannenmuller. Hello, everybody. And Garrett Steele. Hey, thanks for having us back. We are so glad to have you back. And we had a blast last year. We actually missed Dan. He wasn't actually on the show last year. He came in a little late, but we had Garrett and he was singing. But we caught up with Dan later and met at, met with him at the tournament and met with him later that night and we all had a good time so how have y'all been doing this past year fantastic we've been out on the road traveling seeing everybody and fishing everywhere g's been out singing <laughs> and we've just been having a blast what do you think it's it's tough uh, singing and fishing i hate it i know that's just such a hard <laughs> life it's just so Somebody's hard you know i Somebody's know gotta do it. very blessed love it and I know, you know, Crappie Country, y'all have been doing this for how long now? How long has Crappie Country been in business? This will be really our third year. Yeah, together. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, third year on together fishing the tour. A uh, little bit in the first year, a lot last year, and a tremendous lot this year. You know, and you can also go to Crappie Country, their Facebook page, and check them out. Now, I know last year, right the weekend, I think it was a week or two before y'all actually came here, y'all were in Mississippi, and it was actually sleeting and snowing on y'all in Mississippi. And then y'all come in today, and here we are having uh, severe thunderstorm <laughs> warnings. Y'all just bring right the here. weather with you. Oh, I know. G and I were talking about that out on the boat. We were just talking about, you know, what is this stuff? It follows us wherever we go, and... That's just the way it is. When we fish, we're out in it. We were in the rain all day today. Yep. Uh, sometimes, hey, fishing in the rain is the best way to catch fish, you know, especially right before it starts. Yeah. Sometimes that works out really good for you. Better before it starts. You know, we're talking about the Bass Pro Shop Crappie Masters. We're actually having want to welcome it welcome it back here to our area. It's going to be February the 26th and 27th on Lake Darbone. Now, if you remember last year, it was on Lake Caney, Lake Claiborne, and Lake Darbone. You could fish all three lakes, but this year it's only on Lake Darbone. Now, the crappie tournament is going to be located in Farmville. It's hosted by the Union Parish Tourism of Commission, the Farmville Chamber of Commerce, and the Rustin and Lincoln Parish CVB. The seminars and registration is Thursday, February the 25th at the Willie Davis Recreation Center. That is at Cox Ferry Road in Farmville. Registration will be between 5 and 6.30 p.m. And the rules will be announced at the meeting. The weigh-in will be at Darbon Point. And the fishing hours are between 7 a.m. and 3, 3.30 p.m. both days. Must be in the weigh-in line by 4.30 both days. Now, I know last year, we, as we, everybody was coming to weigh in, guess what it started doing? Raining. Rain. So, so tell us a little bit about um, the crappie masters and y'all fishing these different circuits. Tell us what y'all think about it and how many of these tournaments you get to fish. Well, we this year uh, I don't know if we'll fish as many as we did last year or not. We usually fish about a dozen tournaments or something, you know, counting the national championship. Maybe it'll probably be close to that again this year. And uh, most of when you see Dan and I on the water, most of the time it is with crappie masters, and it's a great tour. It's it's the pro tour, and we enjoy being out there with them and supporting them. They give us a lot of support, so shout out to them for sure. I think we are going to jump in and do a Texas tournament though this year. We're going to do a, a cat tournament. Yeah, we sure are. We're going to go down to Lake Fork and. Uh, 
We're going to do a local club down there. It's about 300 strong in the club down there. And uh, we're going to fish the tournament before it. It's a big fish tournament and uh, for crappie. And then we're going to practice all the, that following week and fish the uh, national qualifier for crappie masters. Oh, so, wow. Uh, yeah, we'll fish about the same this yeah, year. Yeah, probably. Yeah, but we got a lot more other engagements in between all that, so we won't see home very much. Yeah, <laughs> right. Well, I mean, like like Garrett said earlier, you're getting to fish and sing. I mean, it's the best of both worlds, so, I mean, you can't really beat that. And, Garrett, tell us a little bit about, you know, what you've been working on this year, because I know you, we've got some new music coming later in the show that, yeah, gonna, that you'll have for us so. do a new tune and trying to get all that kind of put together and and packaged and out to itunes um so excited about that and actually have a, another round that i'm trying to get back in and, and record as well but a lot of the singing here over the last year or so has been associated with the fishing with what dan and i've been doing as we've been traveling and doing radio and tv and and that kind of thing and uh, you know my our manager my manager and now our manager copy country's manager uh, tina marie holland at Nyland Ash Entertainment. She and I bought Talent America, the largest or the longest running talent competition to throw on there. So between Dan and I on the road, me singing, and then she and I doing that, I'm about 240 days on the road this year. So I'm literally out of Nashville more than I am, and when I can grab the guitar, I, I do, but uh, it's either a, a pole in one hand and a guitar in the other, I guess. And I know you said. at the same time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although, if, you know, if it helps us catch fish, we try. We try. <laughs> Put a line on the end of the string. There we go. Okay. We'll do anything if it helps us catch fish, won't we? Yeah. There, you know, what was it way back when we were younger? They had the cartoons on, so you can come up with a here, fishy, 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 fishy song. <laughs> there you go, Garrett. You know, you make would have heard us on the boat here about a day ago. We were, I was out there making up song words uh, as we were going, yeah. catching fish and all that, and he's sitting over there grinning from ear to ear because that's the only way I know how to sing. I can't remember all the lyrics. So, he... <laughs> so Garrett, you said you said that a, a lot of your singing that this in the in the, in the past here in the last year has been involved with you. Know, Coffee masters and fishing. So, are you telling us you've been singing a lot on the trail, or are you writing a lot of the songs revolved around your, your experiences fishing? Well, I've got a friend of mine out in the West Texas. Actually, he's the one that wrote the song we're going to do today, and I've kind of put the bug in his ear. And he, they've got a fishing song going, and I may try to get with him and, and get a fishing song going. I did record a song, uh, you know, with, with Teddy a few years ago, and and it's a great rocking song. It, well, actually, yeah, I think you guys have heard it. it's called Stomp, mm -hmm. and and. Uh, I was in the boat and have rewritten the lyrics to that, <laughs> you know, yeah, to, to, to use yeah. as a fishing song, just because I love the, the, the rock and melody, but uh, don't have permission yet from the publisher or the writer, so we haven't gone in and, and recorded that, but I'm, I'm in need of some fishing songs, so management's been on me to be writing for, because <laughs> we, uh, Dan and I require some fishing tunes, you know, for our projects and stuff as well, so. Well, we love to have it come up, you know, for weigh-in like they do on the, on the elites on the bass side, and have our stomp song come on there. I, we think it'd be awesome. Oh yeah, I mean, my wheels are turning over <laughs> here. You know, doing promotions, my wheels are turning. I got all stuff, all sorts of things going on in my mind. You guys have a theme song as y'all come up. Dan, do you ever have to stop him from writing songs from the other seat? You know, I know y'all sitting on the front of the boat and you're trying to fish. Do you ever have to make him? Hey, put the pen and paper down and, and let's catch some fish. Not really. I mean, if the fish are on, he's active. I mean. <laughs> You know, he's in it. We were in it the uh, last three, you know, two and a half days. I mean, didn't have a lot of time. Once in a great while, it might slow down a little bit in some stretches that we're fishing. But, you know, no, not too much, unless we just really got a boring time on the Lord. <laughs> might might have day. to keep me from drumming now and then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's drumming a lot. <laughs> Hey, but whatever works, as long as you're out there, you're having a good time. You're it catching beats some the alternative. Yes, <laughs> yes. I mean, hey, look at it this way. You're out in Mother Nature. You get to do what you love, and you're not sitting behind a desk all day. So that's always a plus. If you've watched some of our posts on our Crappie Country Facebook page or Twitter, and also on our other pages that are associated to it, we've done spectacular sunrises and sunsets. Yeah being out there and it's oh, just man. like all in the glory of, of our, our saviors mm -hmm. up there in front of us when all the birds start singing at first light that just sends a goosebumps up and down in your body it does there's nothing well, I like it you, you talking about that uh, there, um, you were talking about Lake Fort a while ago I mean a friend of mine was fishing Lake Fort, Fort a few years ago and as the sun was going down I was on the back of the boat fishing and uh, he turned and looked back and the sun was setting behind me and it, he wound up taking a picture. I'm sitting there with my rod in my hand fishing, you know, and, and uh, he took the picture and then showed it to me. I'm like, just send me that picture. It's, it's a gorgeous picture. But, I mean, you, you can 
you yeah, can see some, some gorgeous sunsets from the lake. Yeah, and, and the different colors and the mm -hmm. hues. And it's just like uh, an apron that's saying that this is a separation from one part to another. And then we had another day that we got to experience. And it was another day we weren't in an office and we didn't get to see it. Mm -hmm. And we look at each other a lot and we kind of have a saying, you know, and we say throughout the day and in the morning or whatever and look at each other and say, you know, this is living. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're, we're, we're really Literally. fortunate to be able to get out there and do that and yeah. we've got a, a list of sponsors that continues to grow that enable us to do that and, and a lot of that is because of folks like you who've been able well, to have you. us on radio and TV and, and a lot of people don't understand that it's, it's really a, a, about that with the, with the sponsors and we can kind of get there product out there and tell them thank you for for putting us on the road then uh, it's kind of a, a circle a cycle you know that and way. a lot of people don't realize you know they, they sit and watch tv and see you know professional fishermen whether it be bass fishing or crawfish fishing on tv and they think oh man that's got to be cool to just fish for a living that's all you do but there's a lot more involved with it than oh, just yes. sitting on that boat and fishing you know there's a lot of uh, schedules and stuff that have to be kept with your with your sponsors and things like that to keep like you said, they're parked out there, so it's it's not just all fishing. There is you know, some work involved with it, right? There's quite a bit of work. <laughs> In fact, that's where a, a lot of fishermen miss the point when they're uh, getting trying to get sponsors and and have helped do s some sponsorships with people. What but what the biggest part of it is is not winning tournaments and the whole bit. It's the other side of it that helps the the client, our sponsors or our clients, and and it's to help their products. Uh, get out there mm -hmm. and get in front of people when they're good products and you put it in front of them we won't sign up with anything I mean anything unless it works and it's got to work well so a lot of times we're asked by you out there you know is this something you use is it something you endorse just because you're sponsored no it's because we have a relationship that we feel that that product is something that is appropriate for you out there and us and right. if we don't use it we are not going to talk about it Right. You've been listening to Bayou Power Sports Southern Outdoors on Z107.5. Don't forget to download the Red Peach Radio app free on your Android or iPhone and listen to us anywhere in the world, or you can text us at 1-800-638-107.5. We're going to take you to your break. When we come back, we'll have your B&L Marine outdoor calendar.